10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift off. Electron has lifted off from Launch Complex 1 and we are 34 seconds into our flight. With Electron now clear of the pad, soon we will approach max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure, the moment of the most amount of stress against the rocket. So let's listen in for the call from Mission Control that Electron has passed max Q. Vehicle supersonic approaching max Q. High voltage discharge nominal. Clear max Q. And there you have it, Electron has cleared max Q. A beautiful and nominal mission so far. Now up uh, 15 kilometers in altitude as the rocket reaches speeds of more than 2100 kilometers. Next up are three mission milestones that happen in quick succession. First up, we have Miko, or main engine cutoff. This has been all nine Rutherford engines on the first stage throttled down and then shut off completely. Very quickly after that, we have the separation of the first and second stages, and you'll see that main booster tank fall away from Electron's second stage. Miko confirmed. Stage separation successful. Stage two ignition confirmed. As you can probably tell from that applause, we have had a successful MECO stage separation and second stage engine start for Electron. Up next will be the fairing jettison, where the two halves of Electron's protective fairing split and fall away from the vehicle to expose IQPS's satellite to space in preparation for payload deployment. And we might see those two halves on screen too as we clear that next milestone. That was them there on your screen. Electron's fairing halves have fallen away as planned. At 3 stage minutes and 42 seconds into the mission, the single Rutherford engine on Electron's second stage continues to burn bright as we make our way to orbit. We have a new view of the engine's nozzle that includes a nitrogen bottle that you can see on the top left of your screen, which has been introduced as part of an update to the second stage system. Now this is providing pressurized gas to the enclosure covering the, stage, the second stage electrical system, helping to minimize the chances of electrical arcs. Successful. Seeker confirmed. Transfer over the team. Curie and Jukasov confirmed. That's confirmation from Mission Control, the Curie engine has shut down. We are about 40 seconds away from payload deployment of the Tsukuyomi satellite, ready to join the other QPS SAR-5 satellite already in orbit. Let's payload deployment confirmed. You heard it there from Mission Control and from the applause from our team. Payload deployment is confirmed.